Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today, I have a very unexpected video to make. I have a confession. I just got a delivery in the mail and I forgot that I bought this palette from Pat McGrath whenever this launched because her shipping takes so long. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this face palette from Pat McGrath Labs, then please stick around for today's video and make sure you are subscribed before leaving today. So for today, let me show you this baby up close. This is the Divine Blush Bronze and Glow Trio Forever Nude. I'm probably mispronouncing that. You know, is what it is. But the shades in this palette, the bronzer is Nude Honey. And the blush is Naked Peony. And the highlighter is Opal Allure. So, with that being said, I'm going to zoom you in. And let's get this baby on my face. I, I can't believe I forgot about this. So whenever Pat McGrath launched her bronzers, I skipped them because she always runs sales. And I just, I don't know, I just never purchased them even though I was super excited that she finally came out with bronzers. So I was initially going to skip this palette, but so this retails for $52, ouch. But I got 20% uh, off on her website. These This holiday collection honestly launched um, a while ago. <laughs> and so it was a uh, um, exciting surprise, I will say, to get this in the mail. But that just shows you, if you want fast shipping, do not order from Pat McGrath. So first, I want to go in with the bronzer. This is Naked Honey, and this is a super cool tone bronzer. And this one was actually not available at Sephora, I don't think. Mm, that is such a beautiful shade, so I'm just going to build it up. Now my bronzer, for whatever reason, like my cheeks, it doesn't hold bronzer pigmentation good so if it looks patchy more than likely it's my cheeks <laughs> I don't know I've heard some people say the same thing but this color if you have fair skin I think that you would enjoy it you know just based off my first impression I'm liking the undertone which is why I wanted to wait for this one I did not want to order from her website I was hoping that this shade would come to Sephora and as last time I looked it never did so I was waiting for a sale, and I'm glad that I got this. I actually just went to TJ Maxx, and it was full of Sephora. Uh, not Sephora. It was full of Pat McGrath Labs. I mean, it was like her holiday collections, um, a few six pans, some highlighters, and it's insane. So, definitely don't buy her stuff for full price. So, I haven't seen a lot on this palette. I have seen a ton on the eyeshadow palettes, but I skipped those. They just didn't gravitate towards me. I'm trying to not buy as many eyeshadow palettes. So, typically, I would have jumped on them and bought several of them, but I'm just pulling back. So, this bronzer looks beautiful. Now, I want to do the blush, which is, what are you called? Naked Peony. Okay, and I love this blush brush from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is a C813, and it just fits perfectly. So I did purchase this myself, and I'm just going to tap it in. I typically don't reach for pinky blushes. It's so pretty, but I don't know, something about this palette. If it didn't have the bronzer, don't be mis... Like, I would not have got it, so... I just wanted to be straightforward with you. And then the highlighter... It has the shade Opal in it. I'm not wearing my Opal ring today, but I love Opals. Um, so, that's another reason. Between the bronzer and the highlighter name, I broke down and got this palette. And I must say, I'm not the biggest fan of pink, but it's a pretty blush. Definitely make sure you read the... Pa if you do have any face palettes from Pat McGrath, make sure you read them because there are duplicates in multiple palettes. I wish that every launch it would be new blushes. It's unfortunate especially if you collect everything. But I will say that this blush is very beautiful. I have the Bridgerton face palette. Let me get it. The Bridgerton, this one, and then this one. And these are all different blushes, so I just wanted to note that. Let me just show you in case you want to see comparisons. Ultimately, a pink blush is going to give you the same hue, but that, I mean, look, they look like twinsies. I'm a clown. I know. And then this one was from her holiday collection. I believe she did a few years ago. There we go. So there's a few comparisons. These are the only cheek palettes that I have from Pat McGrath. So now, where's my highlighter brush? Where did you go? Okay, it's right here. I'm going to go in with the shade Opal Allure. And it just looks divine, I will say. So I'm going in with this shade. And swatching them, I do have swatches, but on my skin tone... You just can't really see it that well. So I just wanted to show you on the face. So this definitely, whoa. 
okay you get like be very careful well I want me taking pictures with that one um you get a lot of pigment okay this looks a very ethereal opalescent in a way well opal I'm such an idiot yes opalescent um such a gorgeous icy pinky highlighter oh, and it matches that blush so pretty I was not sure I do not like icy highlighters but this one really does melt into the skin pretty nicely I would say that I'm going to get a lot of use out of this palette because they all three work for me the main reason why I did this video was because I haven't seen a lot on these palettes but granted I have not been watching YouTube that often so there may be tons of reviews but I just figured I would throw this up in case anyone was curious what it would look like the formulation I think that all three products look really nice um so that's a good that's a win-win let me know down below are you gonna pick this up are you skipping it are you over it are you waiting for a sale because lord knows i did just if you order from her website and know that it's gonna take some time to get to you if you're wondering why i have no eyeshadow on it's because i'm waiting to do another video so i'll be doing a look using this palette anyways guys well, that's gonna do it for today's video i was not gonna film this but i was like maybe it would help a few of y'all out formulation is lovely color story it's you know basic but it's still beautiful but that's gonna do it for today's video wherever you are in the world i hope you're doing well i hope that you are healthy happy and safe. stay beautiful bye guys